We're talking about CBD, a cannabis compound that doesn't get you high, but has been shown to improve one's quality of life drastically. Tonight, we speak with a Sengupta family about how CBD has transformed the life of their six-year-old son. Not having CBD oil at home is, an, is not an option. It is not an option. We absolutely have to have it on hand. Alexander Sengupta's six-year-old son, Oliver, used to have upwards of 20 seizures a night. It led to sleepless nights for Sengupta, who had to stay awake at all hours to watch over his young son. Because I would be watching him through the night and, and monitoring him and making sure that he was breathing, making sure that he was in a safe uh, position through his, through his sleep cycles. And when he would wake up and have a seizure, I would be there to, to handle him and to make sure that, that he was fine. Medication initially prescribed ended up making Oliver's seizures even worse. Just over two years ago, Sengupta learned about CBD and began exploring it as an option while also changing Oliver's diet and therapy. Though doctors at SickKids wouldn't prescribe CBD, the family had to get an appointment with a different doctor. And then it was a waiting game of finding out when we could get the appointment and then getting in and going there with him. And then we've had issues with regards to making sure that the, um, that the volume was correct. We had difficulty with with the delivery of it. There's so many steps that, that, that add to the complexity of making sure that we have it on hand. The medication has been a life changer for Oliver and the family. He now only has one seizure every week to two weeks. Fearing there could be a shortage of CBD once marijuana was legalized, the Sanguptas ordered the maximum amount the prescription would allow. They feel that their fears were well placed. They now know a family struggling to find the game-changing cannabis extract. Some of the parents that we know, both through sick kids and through, through Oliver School, Beverly School, they've had a difficult time with regards to making sure that their, their stock levels are high enough. Everybody feels as though there's a limited supply, right, because it's not as widely um, accessible as it could be. The demand for some CBD products is evident on the province's recreational cannabis website, where CBD capsules have been largely out of stock for weeks. In a statement to City News, marijuana company Canopy Growth says in part, we have made a point to always prioritize our medical patients and ensure there is at least one CBD product available on our medical site, Spectrum Cannabis, at all times. I'm thinking that this is actually more of a distribution cha challenge, just as much as it appears to be a supply issue. The CEO of Canadians for Fair Access to Medical Marijuana believes there needs to be a big push to get medicinal cannabis in drugstores to increase supply and knowledge for patients. I would say it's not only a matter of the actual sourcing of the product. What's really critically important, this is what we hear from, from patients over and over again, is the lack of that advice around contraindication risk. And more and more patients are asking today, hey, will that CBD or will my medical cannabis cause any problems with my blood pressure med? Or for it to be streamlined, for it to be either an on-counter or behind-the-counter item at a pharmacy or at a store would be probably the smartest thing. There's, n there's no harm in it. And CBD isn't cheap either. The Sanguptas go, about, go through about four bottles each month at a cost of more than $500. It isn't covered under their medical benefits. Now, even with the cost and difficulty getting their hands on CBD, Alexander Sengupta says he and his family are simply grateful to live in a country where getting the drug is even possible.